stood so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave? Good afternoon, and welcome to the 137th graduation ceremony of Grand Forks Central High School. Today we gather to celebrate the many years of academic achievements of the 280, 208 graduating seniors at Central. Before we begin, I would like to take a moment to recognize those who have gathered with us on stage today. We have members of the boards of education of both the Grand Forks Public Schools and Grand Forks Air Force Base Public Schools as well as Superintendent Dr. Terry Brenner, Associate Superintendent Ms. Catherine Galach, Associate Principals Dr. Gabe Dahl and Mr. Mike Wilbur, Athletic Director Mr. Tony Bina, and our Sign Language Interpreter Jack Schaefer. I would also like to take a moment before we begin today to, take, to thank the Central staff members who have volunteered their time today to help to make this ceremony possible. They are the chaperones dressed in black gowns on the arena floor today. If we could give them a round of applause, please. <laughs> Graduates, we are here to celebrate you, your growth, and your attainment of knowledge and skills. Today, you will transition to the status of alumni of Grand Forks Central High School becoming a part of our rich tradition that now marks 141 years. At this time, I would ask any Grand Forks Central alumni that is in the stands, on the arena floor, or on the stage today to please stand up. As they rise, class of 2023, please stand up and give them a round of applause. Class of 2023, after today, you will become a member of this alumni group and carry on the proud tradition of Grand Forks Central. Congratulations on your accomplishments and thank you to the alumni of Central for your con continued support of all things maroon and gray. This is your day, graduates, so sit back and enjoy your time here together as well as the reflection that comes naturally at the culmination of your high school education. Our first speaker today is Clara Green.
Good afternoon and welcome, faculty, family, friends, and graduates. I'm honored to be speaking to you today. You might be familiar with the story of St. George and the Dragon. There are many different versions, but generally each one includes a knight, a dragon, a princess, and a town. The dragon terrorizes the town and takes the princess captive. The knight slays the dragon and saves the princess and the town and the day. It's an iconic story. Keep that in the back of your mind for now, but I'll come back to it. First, let's remember an event that kept all of us from going to school. In the fall of our freshman year, there were problems with the pipes at Central. Maybe not what you were expecting. We all thought it was a gas leak. I remember the smell most strongly. The air felt thicker in the hallways. We were all shepherded into the bleachers and the large gym. It was so full of people. I felt so old then, and I look back and I think about how young I truly was. We missed some of our classes, but they fixed the problem and we went back to our normal day. I thought that was going to be the most disruptive event of my high school experience. Clearly, that was wrong, but despite old pipes and worldwide pandemics, all of us managed to get here today. If you went to Valley Middle School with me, you'll be familiar with the concept of grit. Tenacity, perseverance, refusing to settle. Your grit is tremendous. I'm incredibly proud of each and every one of you for retaking classes, studying as hard as you could, coming to school early for detention hours, and overcoming every barrier that came your way. By now, you have all definitely become true knights. But just talking about our trials is pretty depressing, and I know it takes more than overcoming, overcoming barriers to make the community we have. It takes singing together. And that might sound a little bit strange, but I want to remind you of prom last year. Uh, the electricity shut off and everyone sang, take me home country roads. It was a dark and crowded room, but somehow all of us singing a country song in our dulcet tones lit it up. I'm a music person, so maybe it meant more to me than it means to you, but I know you can think of a time when you felt connected to everyone you're sitting with today. This community we've built isn't an accident or a coincidence. It's a direct result of what you've learned at Grand Fork Central over the last four years. First, you learned acceptance. We are all very different, trust me. I took government with you, I know. But we learned to put differences aside for a common goal. Next, we learned hard work. Graduating is not easy. You all have done as much as you could do to get to this point. Each of you overcame barriers that could have prevented you from sitting in front of me today. We also learned integrity and responsibility. We have all made mistakes, but we learned how to accept them and to make amends. That's a lesson we'll take with us for the rest of our lives. But we learned compassion, too. I know from personal experience how quick you are to help each other, to forgive each other. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, we learned courage. The great big world isn't just out there. We're living in it now, today. I want you to close your eyes and picture something you want desperately, more than anything. Maybe it's a car or a house or a really cute dog. If you are knights, then this is your princess and your town. You can open your eyes now. I want you to think about what it'll take to get that. Maybe you're afraid of the sacrifice it requires. That's the dragon. But you won't have that thing you want unless you reach out and take it. After this point, you answer to yourself. That thing that you want, don't let yourself down by never getting it. You'll be afraid, sure. But bravery isn't the absence of fear. It's moving forward despite it. By now, you've proven to yourself that you can move forward. Take all these things you've learned, acceptance, hard work, integrity and responsibility, compassion and courage, and use them. Carry them with you. These are the sword to your knight. Slay the dragon of fear.
Deep within the marble halls, the ancient bricks, maroon locker walls, runs tradition, deep in the veins and roots of the building, and deep within the heart, mind, and soul of those who fill it and make it whole. What I just read is the beginning of a poem I wrote for graduation. In the first section, I try and capture what it means to be a Central Knight. I think we could all agree that it is near impossible to talk about Central without talking about tradition. It's the first thing that we were taught about, and it runs deep in our school. I should know. My mom took her first step through the main doors of Central back in 1985, my oldest brother Cameron in 2010, my sister Grace in 2012, Alexis 2015, Sophia 2017, and finally me in 2019. Between my mom and my four older siblings, I had big shoes to fill. They paved the way for my success by being the best siblings and examples of what it means to be a Central Knight that I could ask for. I can say that with great pride that I am honored to have the chance to continue the legacy of my family and the alumni that came before us and that I am proud to be a Knight. I want you all to pause for a moment and think about the impact you have had on Central and the surrounding community. At first, it might not seem like much, but then I think back to all the countless concerts, shows, and sporting events that I attended when I was growing up. I recall how much I idolized those at Central and not just my siblings. I remember being in the gym, feeling the drumline vibrate every bone in my body and thinking how cool it was that one of the drummers shared my name. I remember going to shows and concerts, listening in awe as the choir sang and the band and orchestra played the most beautiful songs I had ever heard. I remember going to all the meets and games and thinking, this, this is peak athleticism. They weren't the pros, but they might as well have been because in my eyes, no one was better than them. Even though I probably had no idea what this meant at the time, despite the wins or losses, they were always hashtag undefeated. Even now, when I have surpassed the times of my brother's cross-country team or sung the same songs in choir as my sisters, it's not the same. Nothing I could do could ever compare to that which was accomplished by the superstars of my childhood. Now think back to the here and now and realize that the same impact that past generations of Knights had on us is the same impact that you have on the next generation. This is what Central Tradition is all about. Not necessarily how many wins or losses or state titles our sports teams have, although I can confidently say that we have the best hockey franchise in high school history, but about inspiring the next generation to, as Mr. Mercer put it, strive for perfection, achieve excellence. It's about instilling in them the awe, wonder, and confidence needed to pursue their dreams and to make the world a better place. The impact you have on the kids of our community is more than you'll know. I know this because I was one of those kids. It was this history of greatness rooted in tradition that urged me to take advantage of every opportunity presented to me, increasing my involvement in my school and community, and ultimately increasing my impact on the world. It is a great honor to bear the legacy of the classes and alumni that came before us, and you should be proud of the impact you have made on the lives of your teachers, fellow classmates, and most importantly, those who look up to you and aspire to be like you one day. You have carried the torch well, and now we pass it on to the next generation. The poem goes on to say, and though our journey seems almost done, I assure you, it's only just begun. We adventure into the great unknown, expanding our horizons to a future full of discovery and promise. The fruition of our dreams is finally upon us. I could talk for quite some time reminiscing about the classes, the teachers, and that one virus, but before I leave you, I wanna talk about our future. It's equally as exciting and scary. For some of us, the reality of the situation has finally set in, and for others, it is still yet to set in. For 12, 13 years of our lives, we have been guided and nurtured by our parents and our teachers. Now it is time for us to go off on our own, pave your own path, and create your own destiny. On your journey, I urge you not to forget those who were with you along the way. Remember where you came from and the people who helped you make you who you are today. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. Martin Luther King Jr. Oftentimes, it is much easier to whine, complain, and to blame others for our troubles. Society will urge you to play the victim, but instead of giving up, giving in, and throwing in the towel, I implore you to push forward, have a bit of pride and personal responsibility, and overcome the challenges in your life. I think the esteemed Dr. Tack, who many of us know and love, summed it up best in a variety of quotes when he said, control the controllables, get after it, you're awesome. 
So let's go out there and show the world what we have to offer. Show them what makes us the finest in Dakota. The poem ends with this. When in the future our paths may cross, remember the journey and not the loss. From here, farewell, from here we part. Not the end, but just the start. We join a family of knights who all together can say, onward, forever onward, in every deed our colors fly. We've got the pep, we're right in step. So carry on for Central High. Thank you.
The definition of a knight is one who serves his sovereign or lord as a mounted soldier. As Central Knights, we have high standards. From all the alumni before us and the future knights after us, we lead as examples of what knights are. Going into high school, most of us go into it as loud freshmen that aren't the most respectful to everyone around us, although I do think we are better than the freshmen nowadays. As we progress through high school, we learn to mature, be more respectful to the people around us, and exemplify what being a Central Knight is. In class, we learn what a central portrait of a graduate is. We learn about having self-wellness, being self-directed, being an active citizen, having effective communication, and being an ethical and humane citizen. It is hard to represent all five of those as a student, but throughout my years at Central, I have started to get better at embodying a portrait of a graduate more and more. The teachers and students of this class have taught me to be the best person I can be. We are beyond fortunate to attend a school where our futures are the number one priority for all teachers and staff. They teach us what a portrait of a graduate is through our four years to turn us from beginning freshman students to graduating Central Knights. And if you ask any alumni, that means something. Although the teachers and students are the most important part of the school, there was so much more to that grand old lady that stood as a castle for us Knights. The oldest high school in North Dakota with marble hallways and trophy cases everywhere you walk. Through those doors is so much tradition and culture that we can't even imagine. From that absolute banger of a school song to the 100 plus state championships, the tradition stands for over 100 years. I will never forget the time I was at Red Pepper with a couple of my buddies. We had just got done eating and were chilling outside for a little bit. A few adults just got out of their cars and were heading in to go eat. They had stopped by us and asked if we went to Central since I was wearing a Central sweatshirt. We said yes, and they told us they were having their 40th reunion. One lady in particular told us she was a cheerleader. She started singing that school song, and then all of us started singing it. We all got up, clapped to the beat, and sang the song. The alumni did not get a single word wrong. 40 years ago, they went to high school, and they can still remember our school song. That left me in awe at how alumni from 40 years ago remember our high school song, but kids from the other school are in high school and don't even know their song. This leads me to another thing. As a kid living in the middle of town, I was just on the north side of the line to go to Central. A lot of my friends from middle school went to the other school, and my best friend transferred there after his freshman year. It upsets me to say this, but I had thoughts of transferring myself. Thank goodness I didn't. I made new friends that will last me a lifetime and met people I will remember forever. I chose a school with more class and respect for everyone around them. Being a part of the student sections that weren't always the biggest, but were by far the loudest and the most polite. Seeing our area completely clean after games showed that we had respect for everyone around us. Being a knight means much more than being a student or an athlete. We are actors musicians, artists, public speakers, and much more. This senior year, I tried to get to as many extracurricular activities as I could. I went to as many sports as I could. I also went to some plays and concerts, which I sure wish I would have attended in my other three years. I never thought I would enjoy plays so much. The work everyone puts into it really shows. At the plays I have gone to, I don't think I have laughed so hard in a while. I even had to stop a tear from rolling down my face at one of them. This senior year, I went to school every day with a smile on my face. My 13 years of school, there has not been a year where I've been more excited to go to school every day. The people in that grand old lady have made going to school so much more enjoyable. Whether it's at school, on the practice field, over at Cushman, or at a fire by the river, I'm so proud to be a part of this school and an alumni of Grand Forks Central. I will talk about the memories and people I've met for the rest of my life. The definition of being a Central Knight is keeping the 100 plus year tradition of being the best person you can be, and I am honored to be a Central Knight. As we go forward to success as Knights of old to win our conquests, take with you what the grand old lady has taught you.
On, beca uh, on behalf of Kaylee and myself, we would like to present the senior video. First, we would like to thank administration and staff at GFC for allowing us to pull students out of class for filming. A special thanks to Mr. Lennon for guiding us through this process. And lastly, we would like to thank you, the class of 2023, with this video showing your unique and creative personalities. Enjoy.
It has been a unique journey for the class of 2023, for sure. Students have been a part of every kind of learning structure possible during their high school careers. And as we close in on the end of this journey and commence a new one, we know that as graduates, you take with you the skills and knowledge that will help you be successful and well. As a Grand Forks Central High School community, our great hope is that you find success. And what is success? It has been described, quite simply, as serving others in ways that make you happy. That, then, shall be your task. As you navigate the world and arrive at your success, we also hope that along the way, your desire to be heard and understood is equal to your efforts to listen and learn from you, the world around you and those in it. And lastly, our hope is that each of you, especially during times of doubt or struggle, might, if you listen, hear the faint sound of a drumbeat. I believe you all know the one. A drumbeat that strengthens you and pushes you forward, or better yet, onward. And may that drumbeat also bring a smile to your face and remind you not only of your days at Grand Fork Central High School, but help you recall the great number of people most of whom are here today, who support and believe in you and your, in your future as you move forward, creating your own success, serving others. Best wishes to you all, and as always, Onward Central. It is now time for the Grand Fork Central Class of 2023 to receive their diplomas. To allow each graduate's name to be heard, we ask that you withhold your applause until all graduates have received their diplomas and had their names read. When there are cheers or applause after individual names are read, the next graduate's name may not be heard. Also, please do not use any noisemakers at that time. Our goal is for all graduates' names to be heard by the entire audience as we want them all to be appropriately recognized. After the last name has been read, we will give a big round of applause in celebration of the class of 2023. Grand Fork Central Class of 2023, please rise. President Lund, Vice President Flynn, Dr. Brenner, Ms. Galach, other members of the school board, family, and friends. These students have met the requirements for graduation set forth by the North Dakota Department of Public Instruction and the Grand Forks Public Schools Board of Education. It is my honor to present to you the graduating seniors from Grand Forks Central High School to receive their diplomas with all of the rights and privileges that go with it. As they move forward into the world and carry on with them the rich history of Central High School, Guests in attendance today, I present to you the Grand Fork Central High School of 2023. Radia Muhammad Ali. Kaylee Brianne Anderson. Brooks William Antilla. Nicholas Alejandro Amandares Lotito. Kaylee Jean Baker. Cole David Barda. Tara Jane Beardemful. Bella Madonna Beauchamp. Malachi Isaiah Ballou. Destiny Marie Beckman. Megan Elizabeth Beam. Samuel Joseph Benson. Alyssa Lee Berger. Jacob Matthew Berglund. Juan Modesto Belanga III, 
Matthew Michael Bethel, Hannah Jean Bybee, Colton John Bjorgi, Ryan Joseph Blixt, Gianna Elizabeth Blue, Julian Renee Boaz, Sapphire Gabriella Baim, Jessica Jean Piper Boone, Sky Nan Boyer, Dahlia Ruthann Brisky, Phoebe Lynn Burke, Kira Clementine Byler, CJ Richard Byron, Reed Campani, Mesa Pearl Christman, Abigail Marie Cisneros, Gavin Jace Cleaver, Michael David Coates, Chancellor Davis Colgrove, Mia Alicia Corona, Bella True Costa, Weston Hinckley Crook, Austin James Cudmore, Hannah Olivia Curran, Julia Kyrie Dawes, Marie Eleanor Doreen, Mikal Ryan Dinkelman, Sebastian Eden Doak, Gavin Allen Ellers, Madeline Jean Elseth, Zachary Allen Erickson, Elise Freya Falla, Jason Daniel Feist, Jackson Dean Fields, Mackenzie McKay Fincher, Camille Marie Finney, Madeline K. Fisher, Andrew Murray Folson, Kaori David France, Brianna Ambrosia Friesen, Kimberly Noemi Garcia, Caitlin Elizabeth Gass, Jacob Allen Gersheski, Dallas James Gibbs, Alina Mihailovna Golovko, Clara Rose Green, Jared Thomas Lawrence Goodvangen, Messiah Surya Gunbi, Beavis Gurung, Jaden Kyle Hakey, Madison Michelle Lynn Hegeman, Morgan Ann Hallgren Hill, Brady Michael Hansen, Grace Lauren Hansen, Sophia Lorraine Hansen, Donovan Michael Hart. Brendan Adam Heath, Natalie Beth Hebink, Braden Ryan Hendrickson, Hannah Elizabeth Hartlein, Sierra Marie Hyde, Sadie Ann Hillman, Quinton Demarion Hodney. Rylan Gerald Hoffman, Jillian Marie Louise Hoffman, Hoff Ulysses Wagi Holmseth, Kira Lynn Holbiger, Zachary John Holbiger, Hannah Grace Hubs, 
Alexander Anthony Huot. Lateus Thomas Dakota Herks. Finn Leander Jackson. Alyssa Renee Johnson. Ethan Joseph Johnson. Haley Elizabeth Johnson. Justin Tyler Johnson. Landon Leo Johnson. <coughs> Max Kenneth Johnson. Taylor James Johnson. Lane Michael Jumanville. Kaylee May Kirkaby. Madison Ivy Klotz. Anthony Wayne Knox. Hallie Jane Kester. Maka Bima Kohli. Elam Asaba Sidwan Ponamazun. Camden Nicholas Kraft. Kevin Jan Kubat. Zachary David Kuznia. Grace Janetta Ann Kasager. Jameson William LaFontaine. Taylor Cole Lambert. Dylan Allen Lamont. Jace Joseph Langowski. Kobe Lee Lavalli. Aiden James Lee. Nora May Lee. Sydney Lane Lemieux. Cade Edward Linseth. <coughs> Christian Michael Litzinger. Noah John Lund. Edison Thomas Lunsky. Anna Marie Maycart. Ryan Connor Mackart. Nolan Hale Mackey. Keith Joseph Maloney. Kinsey Sue Martin. Devin Patrick Mask. Carter Allen Matheson. John Douglas McDonald. Brendan Anders McMillan. Samantha Morgan Mondry. Aiden Michael Moreland. Michaela Ann Molds. McKenna Ann Murray. Ava Marie Nelson. Connor Joseph Noreen. Liliana Naomi Overgon. Quinn Minnie Olson. Reese Christian Olson. James Austin James Ortiz. Navy Jameson Oss. And at least Jalen Pina. London Chasey Ty Perez. Brianna Jean Paterka. Ramsey Lynn Petron. Bryce Tomio Philpot. Gavin Dale Pilgrim. Cole Owen Platts. Morgan Amelia Presnell. Annika Allison Presting. Dylan Michael Rahm. Brooklyn Chantel Ramsey. Aubrey Elizabeth Raymond. Tristan Ardell Thomas Raymond. Caden Thomas Reed. Augustus Blair Reichert. 
Hayden Robert Richards, Jillian Kathleen Riley, Quinn Michael Rail, Ashley Lynn Roth, Azela Laney Sabin, Jaden Jean Solway. Danielle Kennedy Sattler, Megan Marie Schill, Quinlan Casimir Shudrowitz, J. Lucien Sensky Hobbs, Callie Lynn Marie Shaw, Kyle Allen Shawstead, Logan Joseph Shepard. Summer Alexis Simon. Alexis Lou Smart. Nathan Brian Solberg. Magdalene Grace Mary Spicer. Mackenzie Alice Spore. Aiden Timothy Stucke. Amber Grace Stefani. Blake Anders Storbachen. <coughs> Isaac Brian Strom. Joseph William Swenson. Jessica K. Talley. Morgan Elizabeth Tebulis. Charlotte Bliss Tellman. Jasmine Euphony Thomas, Xavier Orion Thorpe, Vance Chancellor Thumb, Michael Albin Torgerson, Lauren Vivi Tran, Vladislav Antoli Usati. John William Vanderberg, Connor David Venskoy, Tara Joy Walski, Jazare Amelia Walters, Jennifer Yang Wang, Dillam Jacob Washington, Navea Sadie Waters. Adina Moore Weinstein, Christopher Jerome Wentz, Seth Michael Wilhelmi, Anaya Tamia Williams, Logan Harold Williams, Mason Joseph Williams, Jocelyn Karen Wisner. Wyatt Scott Wokenfuss. Jaslyn Rose Wynn. Before we appropriately celebrate the class of 2023, we'd like to ask guests in attendance to please remain in your seat until the graduates have left the arena floor today. I am pleased to present to you the Grand Forks Central High School class of 2023. <laughs>